Um, hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here with my patient, um, and and we're we're about to embark on a screw retained uh, NC bone level from Strauman. So that's the narrow platform NC. And um, I had a question from a dentist, I believe, from the UK. And he was concerned about uh, his case. And he wanted to be able to copy my methods. So uh, first of all, let me explain what this is. This is basically the um, spray cap container I was referencing in the last video, filled with snap stone. And then um, it's, it's the snap stone surrounds the lab analog. Lab analog is in the center. And we sink it just to the rim. We don't want to go over the rim, so just to it. And this is the lab analog, so it's color coded yellow. Within the top of the snap stone, we carved an incised five retention grooves. Now, inside that retentive groove, initially, we had a clear silicone matrix, which was made to accept the blue blockout material from Ultradent. So this is the blue blockout material that we have and we're about to use now this impression coping that was placed in here and and uh, and then uh, customized. So we have to go one more step further. In the mouth we have a provisional temporary. So let's take a look at that. Here is the provisional And uh, should go ahead and open. All right, and we'll just dry that off now. So we noticed the provisional is a little further out of the arch because we didn't want during healing that temporary to touch the bottom teeth at all. It was an immediate load or immediate loaded restoration that was placed. Now we're just going to undo this. All righty. I'm just going to check a few things here. Uh, let's see if I can. Adjusting to the color. Let's try this again. Bright field, let's try that. Let me give you a little better look at, at what we have here. Okay, so I'm going to undo this. All right, and we just slowly move this out and check the site, and we see we got a beautiful site that is actually developed. So now what we want to do is use a micro suction tip, and we're going to place her on hold until we further modify the impression coping. All right, so that's coming next. We're going to spray a little water down in there because we're going to keep these threads all nice and pristine. We don't want any of the blood coagulum to get into the threads themselves. So, again, the, the development of this site done by the surgeon is important to follow. And we want to copy that in the final impression. So right now it's starting to collapse. So we're going we're gonna to then move gears, move away from the mouth. Okay, and she can relax a little bit. We're going to come back over here and take a look at this temporary and compare the configuration with that of our impression coping. Because now you can see the actually the development of that. So we want to get a little bit more of this onto this now. Okay, so this is the basic. So here we go. We're going to go back to the jig. That's where we started. Okay. Now, we want to transfer this information, so we're going to drop it in some peroxide first, kind of wiggle that around, clean it up a little bit. So you want to get your coagulum off of that. And then we just dry that off. Should be a little screw inside. Yes, there is. Okay. So let's put that in the jig now. And we took it, we've taken out the the um, silicone. 
we're going to make a new silicone index around the temporary. Now, could we modify that temp a little bit? Um, I don't think I, I really want to at this point. Maybe we could taper the neck a little bit here and here. Um, that would help. Looks like uh, our surgeon has done a nice job adapting it. So we're going to use a soft material. And we're going to copy that. So here's our soft material. And we're going to use something called, it's a very fast set, it's a blue material from Kerr called Take One Advance. All right. And we'll go ahead and inject that around so we don't have to spend hours figuring this out. There we go. And just like that. That's how we do it. And then what we'll do is let this set sets in about a couple minutes. We'll take that out. And then we'll reinsert our impression coping and then inject some more of that blue block out in there so that we can pick up and copy this identically. And then we can then take our final impression. So we're going to copy her soft tissue into the model, the final impression model. All right. So that's our next step. I'm going to pick this up on the next segment for you to watch this technique. It's Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I see you in probably in about five minutes.